I hate to admit it, but I use social media to keep tabs on all my favorite celebrities, checking daily for updates. It's my guilty pleasure. I don't want to miss anything new or exciting. Well, on my Cisco Business Switch, keeping the firmware up to date isn't quite as entertaining, but it sure is important for my network. Firmware updates can improve switch performance, enhancing existing elements, or even adding new features. How great is that? In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to download and install the latest firmware on a CBS switch. Before changes are made as a best practice, it's good to back up the configuration of the switch. So to do that, log into the switch and navigate to Administration, File Management, and then File Operations. To download a copy of the current running configuration to the PC, go ahead and select Backup File as the operation type, Running Configuration as the source file type, HTTP slash HTTPS as the copy method, and then click Apply. As you can see, the configuration file will get downloaded as a .txt file. All right, the configuration is backed up. Now to find the current firmware for the switch, head to www.cisco.com and select Support. Then, under Software Downloads, click on View Software Central. Type in your model. In this example, Business 350 is entered in the search bar. Select your switch model from the options. Click on Switch Firmware, which will redirect to the firmware release page. Here, it shows the latest firmware version. After locating the firmware file from the list, click the Download icon and the file will save to the Downloads folder on your computer. The latest firmware file should download to your PC. Next, you need to install the firmware on the CBS switch. Once again, access the switch web user interface and navigate to Administration, File Management, and then Firmware Operations. Here, select Update Firmware as the operations type, the HTTP slash HTTPS option as the copy method, and then choose File to locate and select the firmware file from the Downloads folder. Then, click Open and Apply. Perfect, the firmware has been saved to the startup configuration of the switch. Now, to get this latest firmware version to run right away, you'll need to perform a reboot on the switch. To do this, navigate to Administration, Reboot, and select Immediate under Options for Reboot. Go ahead and click Reboot and confirm the selection by clicking OK in the pop-up window. The switch will begin the reboot process. Keep in mind that this may take a few minutes. Finally, to verify that the firmware has been successfully upgraded, choose Administration, File Management, and then Firmware Operations one more time. You should see the active firmware version shows the latest firmware has been uploaded and is running on the switch. All set. Go ahead and click on the red blinking save icon to save the configuration and wrap it up. That's it. The update is complete and running. Time for me to take a minute, sit back, relax, and catch up on the latest celebrity gossip before getting back to work, of course. Thanks for watching. See you next time.